In this video, I'm going to do a, a dictionary attack. Um, the Wikipedia article will explain it better than I could. Um, but, you know, you may be aware that when you register with a website, occasionally you're asked to select a password. And uh, so various things can happen when a system administrator decides to save your password. Back in the good old days, they used to just save the plain text, and now and then they realized that that was a really bad idea from a security point of view. What they save uh, now are hashes of passwords. So to give you an example of uh, what I mean, uh, if I if I echo this word um, Hosanna to the screen, you know that's what echo does. This dash n takes off the new line, which is why it looks kind of ugly here, and I can pipe that. Uh, that looks kind of terrible, doesn't it? I think I freaked out my machine. Okay, this is better, and I'm going to pipe it into uh, this hash function called md5sum, uh, which is a well-known hash algorithm, and it outputs this uh, string of seeming nonsense. And uh, so this certain dating website, which will remain anonymous, has uh, had their list of passwords compromised and I downloaded it. So different hash algorithms could be used but it happens that um, eHarmony oh, oops, I spilled the beans used uh, the MD5 hash and so these are our hashed user passwords and best practices is when you keep a, a sh some people call it a shadow file of hashed passwords you're supposed to salt the passwords and that means that uh, for each user's password you put in a couple random digits before you put it into the blender hash function and uh, the effect of that is that it prevents something called the dictionary attack which is um, you can get a big file of passwords, and I have one, and uh, it's it's this file right here. And so this is a, a big thing that uh, a big thing of, of passwords that are, I guess, real people's passwords. I downloaded it from this website called CrackStation, and I did pay for it. He has a pay what you want model here. Um, you can download his file, and you, you can also get the. Uh, the passwords from the dating website from that if you want. Uh, so I have this. Now you can hash all of these and then each time you see a hash in the uh, the shadow file you can just do a binary search or some other kind of quick lookup to find uh, the corresponding password because once you hash these you know both the password and the hash. And so what you can do is find out people's passwords on the website. I've done kind of a, a dumb version of a, a cracking program in Python. The program that this person wrote is much better. He says it can do something like 18 hashes a second. Mine does like 18 hashes an hour. But it is really simple. So let's look at it and uh, see how it works here. So first we open the, uh, this is the password file, the collection of passwords that people tend to use and uh, Python has a built-in MD5 module. So I just go through the password file and I had some problems here with uh, memory. You might also, I guess. Um, these are just huge uh, files. Um, so there's a... Uh, eHarmony's file is fi 50 megabytes and this one is, this one is uh, the smaller password file that this guy provides is 684 megabytes and all this uses an enormous amount of RAM also. You can see my machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 13.3 gigabytes are busy doing this stuff. Uh, but anyway, so just open the password file and then if you have enough memory on your machine go through and build a Python dictionary. So a Python dictionary is just like a lookup table. Uh, so here this gets the line this just warms up the md5 hash function and uh, this strip takes the new line character off the off the password and uh, this gets it ready to, to be hashed and this produces the hex digest and it says that this hex digest is going to be associated with that password and it just makes a gigantic lookup table 
and I close the file and now we open up the eHarmony hashes and for each line uh, each line is you know one of these hash things like we've already looked at take the new line character off the end and see if that occurs as a key in the dictionary um, there might be some maybe I'm doing this really inefficiently I should have double check that before I started making this video um, there might be a more efficient way to do this in, in Python, like maybe a try except clause or something. I don't know if this like builds a, a list or if if this lookup is done very efficiently. But once you find um, once you find a match, just print it out to the screen. So this would be the hash, and then this should be the associated password. And I've done it for a few here. Um, as this guy explains. Not only did eHarmony not salt the passwords, but they also converted all the passwords to uppercase before they hashed them, which uh, you know dramatically reduces the size of the search space. So that's another extremely bad idea. And I was able to find a few passwords, and you could too if you do what I just did.